Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 148 of playing just every single day until 2000 Dilo. Let us find their opponent. And yeah, we're we're at 1600. We might make our re-debut into the 1500s today. That's quite exciting. And we get to a 1820 as our opponent. All right, let's go F4 here. All right, so we're going to go here, obviously, unless he plays A6, which he doesn't. He goes for this weird kind of setup, but that's fine. I don't think this is correct. Yeah, we will take. And then we're going to play D3, and I'm assuming he's going to go for a pawn break, but we could be wrong. We're going to castle now. Yeah, bishop out. All of this is correct you know so at some point i mean right now i don't know if this is the best for me but let's play queen e1 first let's go queen e1 and we are looking for this pawn break or, or to be able to push Ooh, okay so he's inviting me to open up the position but if i take this is just a pawn at the end of the day his king's in the center of the board and i win a pawn this way i don't see why I wouldn't go for that? We're gonna take. I mean, pushing. I mean, what what does that really do? We just that's tricky. There's this nice. This guy's trying to hit me with some tactics. Guess what? We ain't falling it for it. Yeah. Let's see. Let's bring the queen out. Right, if I go queen to g3, knight here. What are we looking to do? Maybe this. Because then he can't do the tactic. He can force a queen trade, but then he's just losing. A pawn for no reason. I'm not convinced I want to take this pawn, but he's unafraid of this. So let's do it. Is that his idea? That must be his idea. Here? What's he planning? Yo, buddy, what you thinking? Yeah, I mean, knight, knight h5 is the only logical move that I can think of. Yeah, there it is. So what happens after I go here? Probably just goes back. To, no, he can't go back. So we're threatening mate. So we go here. He probably needs to protect the the knight in some way so let's just slide up i mean we're, we're attacking this is still pinned yeah so he has to give up the uh the good old rook there so we're gonna be up in exchange is there anything better we're just gonna we're just gonna take the exchange no need to make this complicated he takes like that this tactic's still a thing so we cannot take the pawn okay so we're up two points of material we're up in exchange we just need to convert this. So what do I do? Well, I'd like to get this pawn, but we cannot get the pawn. How can I advance? And I could bring my... I could go here. I mean, that does threaten nothing because knight takes. This is probably going to come at some point. I could move the king over and, re th and then I threaten to take. That is a thing. But let's actually... Let's think about this. If he plays here, he's attacking this. I mean, I only have this square... Takes, takes. I could go here anyways. Rethreaten this. Plus, if he wants to trade, I'd be happy. But can he improve his position? No, he can't give that check. So I don't see anything wrong with this move. Let's go for it. Because if he plays this, I just take the pawn. Because this threat, uh, this isn't a threat. That is because it allows the check. And after taking here, we are threatening to go here. And we have a lot of pressure on that pawn. Okay. So we can't take like this. We can just take the queen if we wanted to. This is a move, but then here. Does he have any useful discoveries? Not really. So if we play this, I guess he can go here. That looks quite unpleasant. I really think we should just go for the queen trade. But now he's got this super strong bishop, which I'm kind of worried about. I'm kind of rethinking if I want to go into an end game with this guy. I mean, surely. Like, we're just, we are, we're up the exchange. We have to build to win this, right? Okay, let's make sure that... The knight cannot come in. Do I want to play that though? Here, here. That gives a pawn back. We don't want to give anything back. I guess I could advance this, but then he pushes. Then here is a fork of stuff. Yeah, let's let's go knight here. We're putting pressure on this pawn. He could go back to protect, but then we're gonna get this. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So he, I guess he can protect that way. That is definitely a thing. Is there a way for me to double my rooks? Go here. The knight still, it can go there, but this is always a thing. 
I go here, is there any way? No, he can go here and kick the knight away, in which case I would probably play this, but maybe not. So if I go here, is there any good spot for him to retreat to? Because that would be a strong bishop, so maybe I would want to do that. Yeah, let's, let's double up here. Yeah, pushes that pawn. Okay. Yeah, he wants to keep the bishop. I could counter here. I don't want to go back, but I guess we can maybe try for this. Double up over here. And we're probably going to want to plop this on here at some point. Okay, knight in. What is he threatening? I mean, he can only really go there. He could take, take, take. But I don't think that's good. So if I go, oh, if I go here, he has this check, which I just take. So I don't really think that's great. And if I take this, trying to have some kind of tactic, there's not really a good move. If I go here, he has to go here back to this square. Do I really love that? No. I think we just double up. I think that should be fine. And then we'll kick him away. And then maybe try for something. I mean, he can, he can probably sack for a few pawns here. But Okay, now we're going to kick this thing away goes back i can't take <laughs> very annoying that this this bishop is just so strong and i don't i cannot give him do need to reposition that i guess if i got my knight to this square i could hold this but how do i do that something like this but then he's he's gonna just start marching down i assume but he can't really come through can't really break through i guess this pawn push could be annoying but if I play this, he's got eyes, and then I I don't really want to have to move that. Let's let's actually push this pawn. My reasoning for it is he's he can't now do this, because I just take. And this knight's kind of positioned well because it eventually wants to go here, if possible. And now we're just gonna probably try to rotate the knight. Okay, he is prepping this. I don't want to do this. That weakens the knight completely. Let's go here and here. He pushes. I'm kind of happy to see that. Because ultimately, if I get a knight here, I can take the pawn he takes, and we're happy. Okay, he's got an outpost here, and he can't go here. If I allow this to happen, I get forked. So king up is probably my best bet. Kind of worried about some kind of sack, though. We should be good. We just need to stop this. Oh, but that kind of ruins my plan, because the knight wanted to come here and here, go back. Push him away. Maybe king back down. King up. That is interesting. I mean, obviously he wants to bring the pawns forward, but we're going to kick that knight away now. So it must go back to e6. Now, I don't know if I want to come forward. I don't really know where I want my king to go. But I do want to continue with this plan. If I go forward, uh, the king gets kind of opened up. I definitely never want to push that because this comes in. I guess I could play king to h2 my thoughts are just there's never going to be checks here knight can't come in with checks so because if i were to go if i were to stay here he probably has ideas of pawn breaks i don't know what he's planning with that but yeah i just want to continue going to this square and then we're going to try and break in Whew. king up that's so interesting to me like what's he what does he want here yeah i mean just keep going. Not really too sure what he's planning here. Knight comes in. I mean, push. We just take, take, and then we just have a lot of infantry. And if this file ever opens up, we're going to go contest this rook. So, well, let's see. Here, here, here. Yeah, I mean, I do win a pawn, so I don't think that's possible. If this, this takes here, like I just said, we're going to go contest this. But is the rook really doing anything on that file? I don't know. Also, there's potential forks here. If you were to push this, then we get another trade. Plus, that bishop is super strong. So, I don't think this is going to happen. Rook up. What does that do? I mean, now I'm seeing potential forks again here. But with the rook this time. But, I mean, I think I just need to go here. And I guess his idea is that after here, you can probably just come in here. And he's going to win a pawn. Here... If he doesn't take, which I don't think he will. So here, here, I can't even take there. What am I going on about? I guess I'm just going to be taking this. That would be the plan. Wait, I'm all messed up. His knight will be here, not mine. So here, here, takes, takes, no. If I get here, takes, 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 knight would take here. 
think we should be able to win that, surely, right? It is a shame that this, this knight's just got to be chilling there due to this. Ooh, he takes. Okay, knight in. We'll go here. I do not think he should have traded that. I guess his point is, if I go here and here, it weakens this. Yes. So, takes the pawn. Knight, or bishop takes. Rook takes. Here. Here. Knight takes. Here. How's he going to win this? Should be able to just win. There's no way. Take the pawn. Or I mean, he doesn't have to take. Then he gets forked here. Okay. Guess his point's that after this takes, takes, takes. Hold some stuff on there. I could just go back, though. I think that might be my best option. Rather than getting kind of greedy for trades and giving up another pawn, I don't think that's right. I think we need to go here. If this... We have to take, which I guess gives up another pawn, but... Wait, oh, I could have took his knight. Yeah, I could have took the knight. Now he gets centralized. All right, let's not throw this. Let us come on in, right? We come in here. We're not threatening to take, but threatening this pawn. He can't go... He yeah, he can. He's gonna come behind. Okay, let's come here. Okay, so takes takes come here he pushes and then we infiltrate and how does he really stop any of this oh we need to take first i guess he can take with the knight too but why would he do that uh maybe we need to threaten this pawn or it doesn't matter ah he's got ways of protecting this too that's annoying okay let's threaten the pawn can't push can he hit can he fork don't believe so okay let's go here we're threatening this pawn. He can protect this way. Beautiful. Uh, he goes here. I come here. And then he's it's not even being threatened to be taken. Then I'll come in. Now he pushes? Really? I don't think that's correct. Check here. Can't give a check. But if I go check and he goes here, then we get this. And it's going to be th like a pin. If I take and he goes here, then I probably just have checks. Or I still just come in. Surely this has to be right. Okay, check. He has to protect this. He can't take, otherwise I take the bishop. And if he goes here, then we come in. But then he goes here. And he goes forward. Check. Now he can take with this. Check. I mean, we get here. That's got to be good. Check. He can take. Then here. And we're threatening the rook. And the bishop at the same time. So we go here. If knight takes, rook takes. Yeah, knight takes, rook takes. Protected. And then we just have to double up. Really? Okay, so yeah, double up here. No threats of mate. So we're threatening the bishop. Bishop probably has can't really move there because then this. Rook protects, yes. Okay, but now we can take pawns. So let's take this pawn. Just be wary of checks. I mean, he's got this push, which is slightly annoying. Push takes. Just doing a good job of blockading. Rook back. If I take, he takes here. And I think that's fine. Here, and then check. So let's take. He takes. We give a check. If he doesn't, then we go here. Okay, he's attacking the rook first. It's a bit annoying. We can just go back, though. Now we're threatening the bishop once again. But I guess this time, the difference is bishop can go here. And if I go here, he takes. I take. Hmm. Now we, let's not get into some kind of complex position here. Protects. Bishop moves. How do we protect this? Then we go here. Okay. So we protect the rook. Uh, bishop probably moves here. And then we go here to protect the pawn through the rook. Let's go. So now he can't take. It is a little bit scary having the rook here. Yeah, he goes for this pawn. Now let's protect that. If he goes back here, we bring the other rook. There. Now both pawns are protected, and we can start pushing this pawn. And he goes in be between. He's planning to go here, maybe? No, he wants to infiltrate. So if I let his rook in, their big problem kind of is with this pawn. Because this pawn's very, very close to it. Promoting. So what if I push now? No. I think we can push. He comes in. We'll go here. 
And my point is just this pawn can never get through. And he's not going to checkmate me. Let's go here. There's always this. And of course, if he pushes, we just take. There is no push as long as that's sitting there, though. Which is slightly annoying. We can pin it. Can actually... Yeah, okay, what is that doing? Not quite sure what that does. Maybe he wants this. Okay, let's push. So if I take and he goes here, is there any mate threats? I don't think so, because I just walk away, right? And he can't... Like, he can take with the bishop, but I think that runs into problems. So he wants to take. Then I just move, right? Am I right or no? Could also just protect and then try to push. But he's still going to go here and check me. I think it's best for me to just push. Give him the pawn, then we can move. Let's go here. There's no more checks by him. Uh, there is one more. Let's go here. I mean, now we just go here and here. Very slow game. He resigns. Okay, beautiful. Let's take a look at that. That was actually great. To beat an 1800 to retain my 1600 elo okay so play with an 85.4 percent accuracy versus his 80. let's take a look we got uh typical grand prix stuff castles and we play queen e1 and this is a huge mistake because it just opens up then we come in castle this is a miss what pardon why does no, no, no. Chillax. Chillax. Why Why is this not a thing? Oh, because this is held. You dummy. Oh, you dummy. Uh, knight, there's a stick because of that. Then we get the brook. Come forward. We wanted a, a trade here. And then we come back. Oh. We bl What did we bl No! He missed it! We blundered a fork! Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you for not, not forking me and letting me have this win. Oh my gosh. This was a grind though. Like this guy made me work for this win. Oh my gosh. We had a performance elo of 2000 and he had a performance elo of 1700. All right, let's uh, go find a second game. All right, we got, uh, no, I don't want to play that. No. Cut. All right, we got a 1624 playing D4. Okay, we get the Albin counter gambit here. Is he new to the Albin push? All right, come on, buddy. Okay, I guess we can wait. Um, yeah, takes, 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 no. Takes here, I think it's the move. Yeah, takes, and I mean, if he doesn't take, yeah, we just take. What am I thinking? Because now, if he takes, we take the queen. He has to undevelop or not castle. And if he just develops, then we'll take, maybe. So we'll see what we want to do then. Anyways, he didn't accept my uh, my gambit. I guess now this is a queen's gambit accepted, apparently. But, I don't know. I mean, if he plays knight out, takes here. What happens after c5? What's he doing? c5, knight's got to move. Then I take the queen. Then just develop and castle. Bro took a minute on knight to c3. Oh, okay. We will take. Oh. Okay, well, let's see. Let's go right after that pawn immediately. And then maybe castle to protect ours. Uh, if I go here, how does he defend this pawn still? Like, surely this is a thing, right? If I play here, castles, or goes here maybe? Nah. I mean, we'll give up the bishop, but we're going to win another pawn. Well, I guess it's equal right now, but we'll win a pawn. And he's, he's probably going to win this one. That's the issue. Okay, so he protects it that way. It's castle. Why not? What? That just does not feel right. Slide back, check. Here. What's his plan? Slide back, give him a check. Ooh, okay. I was not anticipating that. That's a little bit rough, actually. He's going to get the bishop now, isn't he? Take here. It's not a thing. I guess we'll slide back. I'm assuming he'll play this. He might have ideas of that. No. Let's hit the ninth so we can potentially get this. We are down a pawn now, and this is being protected, but 
If we take this pawn, we do lose this one. And he's probably going to contest my rook. So we're threatening to take, and I mean, I guess if he takes like this, we still just take. But it would double his pawns if he didn't take with the king. Knight there. He's got double pressure here. Which protects. Now if I play here, takes, takes. No, here, probably just takes, right? I mean, that's kind of what I would be going for. Is there anything else he can do? I don't know. There's simply just a fork too. But the knight can't jump first because bishop takes. You do have to be careful of tactics as well. Because if he comes here, if I were to take, take, he has this check, which will force me to a spot where I could be back rank checkmated. I guess I do have the knight though. So it's just not a position that I would really want to be in though. I guess he can always just play this as well. I guess he can't right now because the knight's hit, but yeah, I mean, he's got to go back. We're here. Now if I take on e5 when he's on, if he's, if he goes back here and I take, hmm, he can probably take here and I have to play knight to f6. Oh no, because I would take. What's his plan? I take, he push. No, he can't push. So it's uh, pinned for now, for now. So if this knight ever moves, we have checks on the back rank here. Could also slide back immediately targeting a pawn which would be nice to do. So now the threat would be takes and takes, and then this pawn would be hit, you'd probably play here. No, I said that completely wrong, but we have a check. He can't go here. So check, where does he go? Is there anything useful? There could be on this square. So if I go check and he steps here, there'd be takes in this. This knight's not really doing much else. Yeah, let's go ahead and give the check. He's got to step to one of these squares. And like I said, this is kind of a bad spot for him. Yeah, so he goes to the corner. Of course, of course. Now he's got a lot of loose pieces. And I'm assuming he might play this now. He's protected. We always have to be careful of these forks. I mean, we could just move the knight. Like we could go takes, takes, go here. No, we can't even go there because of the bishop. Okay, okay. So let's relax. Let's relax. If I go here, he has to go here. I want this. We have to make sure this does not happen. Here, he can't go in. I mean, he could, technically. It's not entirely where I want my... I don't really want to give up the bishop. Rook has zero squares, so I'm noticing stuff like this could be good, eventually, but I think that's too far ahead. I could go for the bishop immediately. The thing is, then he probably just targets this. And my knight doesn't really want to be on the edge of the board like that. I think we should just kick his away. Or I could just go here and this knight would be very good for a long time. That seems like a reasonable... But do we need to play that yet? This rook hasn't been moved. Maybe I go here. It protects any of these forking ideas. And it also x-rays this. And then we can go for the push. So let's do that. Because my idea here would be maybe takes. And I mean takes, there's this. Or it would probably involve something like... Taking here first, takes, takes, because then I'm threatening discoveries. So probably takes, no, I'm not too sure. All right, so we got bishop to e3. Now, I'm thinking we just go for this move now. It is protected, but he can just add pressure. So I don't quite like that. So yeah, I think we can go for that. Pawn's, a pawn's fine, and I can always reinforce it with b6. And since the queens are off the board, there's not really many threats. My king can afford to be a little bit exposed. I would like to get rid of his light squared bishop, but at the same time, mine's chilling there too. Yeah, I mean, this looks so good, but this is being hit. If I go here, let's see, I have this. Takes, takes, takes. Opens this up. I don't like that at all. Do I really want to trade though? It's not doing a whole lot there, but takes takes the knight has to move anyways here 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 takes here i don't like it and you can't even really counter attack because this rook's gonna open up takes i mean he's got isolated pawns i don't want to do this but i think i need to uh, Ooh, how do you protect this pawn go here so here here takes takes here here or here i think we can go for this we can we can counter attack here i believe here takes here 
takes hmm, here. It's the bishop. Let's go for it. He doesn't have any of these. He can go here, but... Oh, no. Oh, there's a fork there. That's so gross. Okay. Well, we blundered. How long has that fork been a thing? I guess... It's... Yeah. Dang. Yeah, he just goes check. Because at the end of that sequence, he has a fork. But I guess... He... Does he? He's gonna give me... Oh, yeah, that's so bad. It's gonna go like this. Takes, takes... Or no, no, no. Sorry, not takes, takes. He's gonna go here... And do I have any way of... No, because if I move, then he just takes the knight. So here, takes, takes, we come in, and then he takes, I take, he takes, takes, and he's just going to be up in exchange. That's okay. That's okay. That sucks, but uh, I mean, I don't think there was any way out of it. No, I was going to say maybe here. No. Unfortunately, it's just, it doesn't happen. It's not good. And he's already up a pawn, so he's going to be up three points of material. Oh, but he missed it! Oh my gosh. Okay, but how do I get out of this now? Oh my gosh. I mean, this is still a fork. Okay, okay, okay. How do I stop the fork? How do I stop the fork? Counterattack again. No, but then it reopens the threat, right? Ah, oh, I don't know if I can stop it. That's the issue. Maybe, though. Maybe... But th the thing is, this still he can still just come in with check. So if I... Ah, but this pawn's gonna hang too. I mean, if I take here, takes, come in... I'm gonna lose this this piece anyways. I just can't risk him seeing this. And if he takes back with the knight, we have this nice little fork. But uh, Is there another move, though? I don't think so. I don't think so. Because I know he's eyeballing this, but he just couldn't find the right move. And if I go here takes here and that doesn't look too bad here here but still the problem if i go here he can still come in with check first and after takes so i go here he can go here but then if he goes there then i go check and then i come in okay let's let's take i mean i i have to right whether he sees or not i'm kind of playing hope chess if i don't and the fork's just too strong come here and then at least, yeah, I mean, he forks me, but I don't think that's correct. I don't think that's correct. Because now I go check. Yeah, okay. We can't give a check because he takes. But I can come in and threaten the bishop. And then I'll have two pieces hanging. Ow, but wait. So if I go here, takes. We can't take, take. Hmm. I mean, we just need to come in. He's going to take the rook. And then I need to move this. And we just have to go for like an attack here or something surely he doesn't just you know take here or something yeah yeah so we're down just a full rook where does this go though i mean it has to go here we have to come back now we're threatening the bishop bishop probably stays on this diagonal somewhere we aren't threatening a fork because of this i probably blotched this completely can probably take a pawn maybe i mean ideally i want to get the knight here this would be nice but the bishop so maybe we want to lock out the bishop and the king. Because that's the king's only escape. So that could be a key and a checkmate kind of pattern. And I think keeping the most pieces on the board is the correct way. Just going down, you know, the full rook. Rather than doing other things. Uh, what's the point of that? If I go here... I mean, the knight's trapped, right? So if I go here, I'm assuming he wants this. Let's go here. Let's just come up. I mean, we're still threatening this. Oh, I see. Yeah, where did I have to go? <laughs> I had to go here. Ah, oh, that was so bad. Why did I not think about that? Hmm. So I can't really protect it, can I? I mean, I can come here. Then I get pinned by the rook. And if I go here, he takes. And if I go there, he takes. Smelling like GG's to me. I mean, if he takes, so it's letting me in. Can't afford to allow this. Whatever, take another piece. Just do it. Go here. We can't... Yeah, after that, we can go here. Then this. Here. Hmm. I don't know. We're gonna... We're gonna try our best to win. Let's go. Only move. Um... That's... That's actually checkmate. This guy... No, it's not checkmate. I go here, and he can go back. What if I go here? This is forced? And then this. No way, buddy just blundered checkmate.
Wait, oh no, because he can sack. He can sack, but will he do it? Will he find the sack? Bishop takes here and then takes. And then it's, it's all she wrote for me. So the last effort. Last ditch effort. Because I was thinking I had this, but no. Or wait. Wait, if bishop takes, bishop check, I guess he just goes back. And we just, same thing. Yeah, because bishop takes, bishop check here. Yeah, he finds it, of course. Little show off. So bishop checks here, bishop back, he just goes here, and then there's just nothing. So check, he can just take probably. I mean, we're going to take, he has to take, right? Check, still goes here, and <laughs> still this, but then this, check. It's still like, I don't know, this guy might have got himself into a little bit of trouble. Like we still go check, because he can't take because the rook protects. So let's go here, he's forced to go here, then check here, check mate no way i pulled this off there's no way oh but he's got this doesn't he no he doesn't because the bishop holds it this is nasty stuff and the king is the g he's holding everything oh. <laughs> oh. that's absolutely disgusting Wait a minute. Wait, that's not that's not mate. That's not mate. Here, check. That's not even mate. Here, check. Here, here, and he just still goes here. Oh no. But we just we can force a draw, I think. Yeah, let's go check. Here. Yeah, we just. Yeah, no. I don't know what I was thinking. It's not mate. Wait. So if check here or if here check here, do I have king up? Does he have any checks in that position? No, he just, he's just going to run out of time. It was made in four. It was, it was, it was. That's insane. <laughs> okay, so there, this was a miss. Oh, okay. So I had to give check here, king here, and then bishop checkmate. But the way that I still, I went about it wrong but it was still mate there rook has to come over oh okay so i was gonna blunder this game away i was not gonna find that mate i can tell you that for a fact uh, let's run through the whole thing all right so we got uh d4 d5 we got the albin counter gambit and i did not play this correctly fish about yeah i mean it's 0.6 for us it's kind of equal but then we made a mistake here with that check. We got ourselves into a little bit of a fuss. We find that. It's a beautiful knight. Bring our rooks. And this is a mistake. Because, yeah, we kind of, we, yeah. We tr right here. He takes. Now the knight is holding this forking square. He missed something hardcore here. He, uh, he definitely needed to give this check. And then, yeah, I mean, we sacked the knight because it was just, it was game over. Yeah, I mean, he's still, he can still do this is the problem. Wait, what? Why can't he do that? King b7, but then he takes. Yeah, I mean, he still, still gives the knight. Anyways, we take, and he missed something here. Should have took the ninth because I have this check. This is a blunder. Apparently, I'm supposed to go back and give him a rook. What? Knight in, king c2, knight, oh, because you can, s it's discovered check. Okay, well, I missed that, and I gave him a full rook. <laughs> so, yeah, but then we went onto this. This was beautiful, but we missed the actual idea of just rook here and checkmate, which now seeing this is actually very, very, very nice. Yeah, we played with, I played with a 72.1% accuracy, and he played with a 76.3. 1500 performance elo for myself, 1650 for him. I mean, this is a good day. We were definitely going to blunder that second game away, but uh, he ran out of time. I'll take it. You know, we take free wins around here. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Join the Discord, and I'll see you tomorrow.